Hey and welcome back to Through the Years. In this series, we take a look at the month's chosen pay-per-view, pick out a handful of our favourite women's matches to ever take place at that pay-per-view and simulate them in the 2K engine. This weekend's pay-per-view is of course TLC, originally established back in 2009. Over the next week, we'll be simulating matches with a range from its very first pay-per-view all the way up to present day. If there's a favourite match of yours we haven't included in our list, be sure to let us know in the comments below and let us know what your favourite women's matches to ever take place at this pay-per-view. Also, don't forget to check out our official website www.therevolution.co.uk for all the latest news surrounding this month's chosen pay-per-view. The following contest is a tables match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's Little Miss Bliss! Introducing the challenger from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Five feet of fury. Remember the good old days when Alexa Bliss would toss glitter and smile and made you feel good? I like the days better now, where you are not allowed to make direct eye contact with the goddess, Saxton. Is that why she never looks at me? Multi-time women's champion. Yeah, she's not afraid to remind you either. What an incredible career so far. The Irish last kicker. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Go ahead, Byron. Get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT, she had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company, and now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Oh. A barrage of elbows. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. What a savage attack to the neck region. Becky Lynch may be slowing some here. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. I don't think this is what she expected when she signed up for this tables match. It seemed to me like she thought she was going to win this thing rather handily. I guess not. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much, but hey, crazier things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth, 2016, is a perfect example of that. And Alexa Bliss heads for the top rope. Running clothesline! Watch Sit out, jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. We're going to take out the knees here. That's a sweep. I don't think she expected to have her feet kicked out from under her like that. She drops her with a clothesline. Oh man, she's rolling now. Alexa is playing to the crowd instead of handling her business here.
Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. The champ on the defensive now. As champion, she has to find a way back into this thing. Given what she's gone through so far in this match, I'd be surprised if she even had the energy left to put her opponent through the table at this point. You know, it just Man. might not be your night, guys. You hate to see it, but hey, that happens every now and then. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. Peggy Lynch going for it. Could be something here. Getting it to... Oh, my. Becky Lynch. This is all but over. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines. The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed brutality evolve and superstars crash through flaming tables. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. In the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. The match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Braun Strowman was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love a brawling clash with the Wyatt's drive to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatt's took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. Bubba Ray took on the Wyatt's with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much, as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray through the final table. Drop kick! Beautiful! Look at this! German suplex! Scoop slam! To the air with a missile drop kick. She may be one of the double D Peggy Lynch going for it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Some are saying this is the night the title changes hands, though I'm not so sure I'm ready to say that. And just a hellacious chop. Here it is. New champion. We just witnessed what many felt was impossible. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable. Here's your winner, and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. And it looks like that table shattered into hundreds of little pieces. It's wins like that that makes this girl such a force to be reckoned with here in the WWE. And folks, as a reminder, the action tonight is coming to you from one of the greatest wrestling hotbeds of all time, Minneapolis, Minnesota.